what's up y'all today we are going to show you how to get the lines out of your water slide prints um, I know it's really hard to see on the camera maybe this one will be better so when I was printing at first there's very sharp line um, vertical lines going right through the middle of my pictures so and of course I printed several times so I wouldn't waste um, multiple sheets of water slide paper because this stuff is not cheap um, so um, another reason that it does lines is because it's solid color and it's very dark um, so what I'm gonna do I finally figured it out I just bought this Epson printer two days ago and I spent all yesterday going through the settings, cleaning print heads, doing all that, which I suggest you do as well. Clean your print heads, align the ink cartridges, all that stuff is necessary. With the Epson printer I got, which is a XP6100, um, it will first, um, when you set it up, it will suggest you do a print head, um, adjustment as well it'll print off one of these and it will tell you to pick which one is the most solid color and like i said you probably can't see on the camera but like this one has really really heavy horizontal lines in it um this one has really heavy horizontal lines in it um so you it'll walk you through how to do all that so i suggest doing that i did that three different times um, to try and get the horizontal lines out and what I found was it was not printing the horizontal lines on regular paper like regular print paper but it was printing the lines on my water slide paper which I don't care if it's printing it on regular paper I bought this printer for water slides um, so what I finally figured out is see if I can bring you a little bit closer so you can actually see I might have to take you off of my stand okay so I use a Cricut um, since I already figured out how to get this one perfect I'm gonna show you how to print this one so I'm in Cricut um, design space I'm gonna go to make it it's gonna come up here it's a print and cut so I hit continue um, send to printer this window will pop up what I've been told is you never want this green button on the add bleed you want to turn that off every time um, especially for things like this that's really intricate you also want to use the system dialog turn that on that is going to make the printer box pop up so you can adjust the settings so then you hit print. This is what pops up. That's what the use system dialog is. This pops up right here. Go to preferences and change the document size um, because the water slide paper is A4. It's just a little bit different than letter. And then you also paper type. Um, I have haze paper. I bought it off Amazon. I'm sure you can probably get it at um, like Office Depot or whatever. Um, but there, the directions are on the back. It will tell you how. Um, uh, where did it say? Set printer settings to high quality print glossy photo paper. So that's what we're gonna do. So we need photo paper glossy and high quality okay so document size a4 paper type photo paper glossy quality high and obviously if you're printing color you want to make sure that it's color and then you hit okay and then you hit um well first of all i gotta put my paper in here paper in and my paper goes glossy side down just the little knobbies here push that back in that, that guy out okay 
Now, another thing, if you have the Epson printers, um, and I don't think it's just for the 6100, I think it's for all the Epson printers from all the research I did about buying a new printer. I'm gonna take you off here so it's gonna get a little bit buggy. Okay, so let's see if I can get you down here to see this. You want to make sure, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, to set the printer to the right paper settings as well. So on this one, the XP6100, I can set favorites. So my cassette where the paper goes is always set to A4 glossy. So it's already ready and set to go. If I was to print something else, I gotta change those settings. But that's really important to have the printer paper set up and your computer set to the same paper settings. Okay, so now we're going to, let me put you back on here so you can see what I'm doing. Hit print, and I already put my paper in there. And up here is gonna pop up photo paper glossy, paper size A4. Can you see that right there? Photo paper glossy, paper size A4. The only reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I fought all day long yesterday to figure this out. Um, because I could not find any videos on how to set up and print the water slide paper properly without the nasty, disgusting lines. So, I'm doing this for y'all so you don't have to. And we're going to give it some time to print here and I will show you the print. This Epson 6100 does take a little bit of time to print the water slide papers, but so far I'm fairly happy with the quality now that I've got the settings figured out properly. here now my workspace is a mess so don't make fun of me put you down here so you can see And I will also do my best to edit this and put it on every social media platform that I have. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, I'll try to cut it down to as short as possible so everybody has the opportunity to see this. There she is. Now, a big important thing, do not touch it. This is an inkjet, it's wet. Don't touch the ink. There it is, perfect. No lines, no smears. All the details are there. Beautiful. Now, you can take go from here a lot of people I see are just cutting um, with scissors, just kind of like cutting around the design, of whatever part of it they want, because this is clear, glossy um, water slide. It's clear. So when I submerge this in water and stick it to what I'm sticking it to, you're not going to be able to see any of this. It's not white. It's clear. So all the white's going to go away. You're not going to be able to see the background. Um, the other option is you can um, cut it with your Cricut if you want um, better lines. So it's already ready, uh, design space is already ready to for me to put it in the Cricut machine and cut it. And the only reason that it prints um, the, the squares around it is that's the lines for the Cricut laser to actually see where to cut. Um, and because I'm using Design Space, it's always going to do that with the print and cut because it's expecting you to cut it with the Cricut afterwards. But you don't have to use a Cricut. You can cut it with scissors. You can cut it with um, a cutting board, whatever you want to do. But those are my settings to make sure that I get the water slide prints 
perfect every time after nine hours of fighting with it last night. I did this just for you.